Hi, my name is Pushkar and I'm a product manager within the VMware Cloud team. In this session, I'll give you a high-level overview of the tools available to you to automate your VMware Cloud deployment. Let's get started. On my screen here, you'll see that I'm logged into the VMware Cloud console. Let's go to the Developer Center section from the left-hand navigation menu. Here, the overview section tells us a little bit about what the Developer Center is and details several ways we can interact with VMC APIs and automation tools such as Power CLI and Terraform. Within the Developer Center, we also have the API Explorer. This is very cool because it conveniently uses our current OAuth token for authentication and pre-fills fields such as org ID for making API calls right from the API Explorer UI. Please bear in mind though that these calls are made against live environments, so exercise caution in making any post, put, patch, or delete requests. On the left side, we see three big sets of APIs. The first set is the Cloud Services Platform set of APIs that allows you to interact with resources related to billing and subscription, commerce, identity and account management. The VMware Cloud set of APIs are useful if you need to get a summary of your deployment, manage your network configuration, or get details for your organization. And lastly, we have VMware Cloud on AWS set of APIs that, as the name suggests, help you manage your VMC on AWS deployment. Let's take a closer look at these. Here, we see our APIs grouped by category. Let's click on SDDC. We get a list of APIs that relate to the SDDC resource with a brief description on the right. Clicking on the get call, we see description and various response types. You can click on JSON objects to expand them. The best part is that you can execute RESTful APIs calls right from within the API Explorer like I mentioned. And as you can see, the org ID of the current org is already populated for our convenience. All I have to do is click execute. And just like that, we get a response back. Clicking on the response object, we see the details of STDCs associated with this current org. We're not just limited to doing simple gets. We can actually provision a new STDC via the POST method. Note that you'll get a 200 response if you're only trying to validate the STDC configuration that you provide in the request payload. You receive a 202 response with the task object when you request the creation of an STDC. You can then use the task object to track the progress of the STDC creation since it typically takes some time for the STDC to be provisioned. We can see the exact request body format that is expected, and we can use this to create our own request body, paste it right here, click Execute to create the SDC. We won't do that in this demo, however. Lastly, you can download the OpenAPI spec file for the API shown here uh, from this button in the top right corner of the page. You can then import the API spec in something like Postman and trigger the APIs from within that tool. If you do that, please remember that you will need to get an API auth token before you can trigger any API calls. And this page shows you exactly how to get started with VMC APIs, including authentication and authorization. Let's move on to the SDKs tab. Here, you can see SDKs available to you in various languages. The vSphere SDKs are useful to manage the VMs deployed within your VMC STDC. The Python client is essentially a Python wrapper around the REST APIs that we just saw. This tool allows you to trigger the APIs via command line, and the GitHub repo um, has an excellent readme to help you get started with this tool. Terraform is another popular infrastructure as code tool that you can use to automate the management of your VMC deployment. Here you can see the official documentation for the VMC Terraform provider. 
We also have a very detailed getting started guide for Terraform that goes over creating an end-to-end -end VMC on AWS deployment in three separate phases complete with sample code. I would highly encourage you to check it out if you're interested in using Terraform. Last but not least, we have a getting started for Power CLI guide if that's your tool of choice for your automation needs. All right, that's all I had for our overview session today. We'll do a deeper dive into the Python client for VMC, Terraform, and Power CLI in future sessions. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next session.